All right, y'all, we're coming at you with another unboxing today, and this time it is for Gyarus. So Gyarus is a Sega Genesis game from the 1990s. It is a side-scrolling shooter and one of the more impressive ones, I'd say, on the platform, considering how many great shooters were on the Genesis and saying this is a top-notch one. Like, yeah, pay attention to this one. It's a good one. But... This game has so many cool features in it, like it had some of the most in-depth cutscenes at the time, very anime-inspired style, like it has just a unique feel that can really be appreciated today, and ah, oh, it's just so cool. And uh, the power-up system of the, uh, what was it, Taz, T-O-Z, like, similar to R-Type, but you would steal enemies' powers and weapons, and just, ah, oh, it's so good, like, such a great game, but this just got... A retro re-release thanks to Retrobit Publishing and uh, Renovation Games. So we have this new version of it that has just come out. It is arriving in customers' hands and oh, cannot wait to dive in and start playing this game again. Bosses in this game are friggin' nuts. But let's take a look at what comes with this. Alright, so Retrobit Publishing's re-release of Gyarus came with the game. And a collectible t-shirt, just like the 1999, or 1990 original, rather. Not 1999, geez. But, uh, Retrobit has been really slimming down their releases as of late instead of the big old collector's editions that not as many people wanted. They're just putting in a few nice little extras and keeping things pretty straightforward, and I can appreciate that. But, anyway. Gyarus. Look at that cover. It's uh, very reminiscent of the Japanese cover art that came uh, with the original version of the game. Uh, we in North America didn't get this. Uh, too much naked woman uh, for North American audiences, I guess. Um, but whatever. Anyway, so comes in a nice little shrink wrap. Got a little overview of all the contents that are included in here. So slip cover, reversible cover art, so you can have the North American or Japanese. I'm assuming that's North American. But then we got the uh, instruction booklet, interview with uh, James uh, Bunker, certificate of authenticity, and then of course the game, and then the t-shirt. So just right there, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. But the game is one player, compatible with uh, most Genesis consoles and clone consoles. So, anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so get this uh, shrink wrap off here. Just tear it at the seams, yeah. But I'm going to uh, peel this back label off and put it inside the case, because I like saving those. But Slipcover has a bunch of scenes here from the cutscenes, as well as just gameplay. So, I mean, there's an example of one of the boss fights, one of the early boss fights, and it's huge. But anyway, slide that out, but look at the slip cover one more time. We've got a very glossy representation, very embossed as well. So, I mean, if you want to feel her thigh, go for it. I'm not going to kink shame you. But anyway, very cool. I like it. Set that right there next to our little wonderful octopus there. So now we have the internal case. It's set to the Japanese box art by default. Guy Aris, Renovation Games, published by Retrobit. And there we go. Nice description of the game. Scenes, screenshots, and then one player and four Genesis and Mega Drive systems. Ah, I love it. Dude, I love how authentic these are. Like, this is like a legit Genesis case. Like, it's got the rough coating on it. It's got the freaking shelf hook. Like, ah, I just love the attention to detail here. Like, this is a freaking Genesis game. And there's so much to love about that. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Pop it open. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at the cartridge first because that is so cool to look at. Oh, my gosh. And it's actually a matte finish this time. So one of the things that I've vocally criticized about a lot of these retro releases is their glossy labels. Like, they look okay, but... These older consoles didn't really use glossy labels. They had matte finishes just like this, and oh, that's so sick.
and like it's still got glossiness around the name of the game, which just that is a great style choice. I'm I am a fan. I'm a huge fan of this. And the see-through clear gray cartridge is awesome. Properly beveled, as all Retrobit re-releases have been for the longest time, so you don't have to worry about that. But then on the back we got the ship. Oh, that's cool. The writing inside there on the PCB. Oh, that's so cool. This is what I love about Retrobits re-releases too. They're starting to do some like design work on the PCBs. Well, they've been doing it for a bit now, but like, oh, it just looks so good. Like that's that is a fantastic cartridge. But anyway, let's go ahead and set this aside for a moment. And take a look at some of our other extras that we got available here. So, we got our Certificate of Authenticity, which has a number of the enemies on the background. That's fun. Very gold. I like the border design here. It's fantastic. And then on the back is... nothing. Okay. Typically, there's been stuff on the back, so that's... That's new. Well, that's fun. Then we've got the interview with James Bunker. So for those of you unfamiliar, um, James was the like spokesperson for this game back in its original release in the 90s. And so they were able to get him to come back for an interview about his experience doing that for the game. So that's really cool. I can't wait to read through this. So that's really cool. So 1991 to 2021. So 30 years later. That's so cool. Like this is, I'm looking forward to reading this. And then finally, full page instruction manual, very glossy. So like all Retrobit releases, we got English and Japanese included in the manual here. Special thanks section. Story. The cast of characters. So, I mean, we got Dan Dare there. Aw, yeah. <laughs> and that's cool. It's actually got the uh, English names and their original Japanese names. Like, that's, that's, a, that's a good touch. So... There was some regional differences when this game got uh, moved to North America. Controls. How to play, game screen, game over. Configurations. Can you say Gaiaris? <laughs> I love that. No one's going to know how to play or say this name, the name of this game, so we're just going to tell you how to say it. I like it. Leaves no room for interpretation. Unlike Darius Diraris or whatever the frick you want to pronounce that one. Weapons. Stages. Like, oh, it's so good. And then the whole thing over again in the Japanese version. And then a little section for notes. Gotta love it. That's nice. I like that. But then the cover is reversible, so if you don't want to have uh, this Japanese uh, cover art variant, you can pull it out, flip it over, and have a more traditional North American box art, I believe. So that's pretty cool. I like it. All right, now for this shirt. Can you say Gaiaris? So this is a replica of the shirt that was given out with the game in the 90s. So, unfortunately, the shirt only comes in two sizes, large or extra large, so no double XL for me, but that's okay. Gives me a goal to work towards to fit into this guy, I suppose. But, slides right off. And that is a nice shirt. Like... It's not one of those thin ones, like it's actually got some, uh, it's actually got some good, uh, thickness to it. Little stretchy. 
But yeah, can you say Gyarus? Renovation product. But yeah, that printing is on there really nicely. It's nice and sharp. I like it. But yeah, very plain white shirt. Otherwise, like nothing else really on here. But on the back, we do have a Retrobit uh, logo as well as Edia, the licensing company for Gyarus right now, I guess. But yeah, that's, that is a nice shirt. I'll need to find somewhere to store this one. Keep it nice. Like, that's really cool. That's cool. That is so freaking cool. And then just another quick overview of everything that came included with this retro re-release of Gyarus. All of its glory. Alright, let's plug this game in and give it a shot. And now for some gameplay demonstration of Gyarus. This is the first level. So there's a lot of in-depth strategy to this game that I really enjoy. You can use your Taz system to steal power-ups from enemies. So I've taken that number from the opening enemies here to make my weapon stronger. Another really cool thing about this game is you can actually cho change your movement speed on the fly. And then there's also power-ups you could use your Taz system to activate, like this bomb that went off a little bit ago. But the game is notoriously difficult. There's going to be numerous game overs. You're going to be replaying a lot of levels. But it's a ton of fun. And I believe there's 18 different weapon types that you could power up by stealing powers from enemies. So I grabbed a new one here that is a lot more useful. It gives you a lot more area of effect, which is great because of all these little flying things that come flying in at you. But it's easy to see what power level your weapons are at, which I am really grateful for. You don't have to do any guesswork. You can just see everything at a glance. You can see your movement speed there above your lives. You can see your cannon's power level, weapon's power level, rather. You can see your score. So just great HUD, great UI, and just a ton of fun to play it if you uh, give it a shot. But again, it is kind of difficult. This recording attempt actually took me a lot just to get to this like mid-stage boss here. I died way too many times in that opening sequence. I'm sad to admit. But the game is definitely one you want to check out if you're a fan of shooters, especially on Genesis. And the soundtrack freaking rocks as you do so. And that is Guy Aris's re-release by Retrobit Publishing. Just another fantastic addition to the Retrobit Publishing lineup. And if you missed out on this one, check your local game stores because they might be stocking some extras. So definitely worth uh, finding a copy if you're interested in this type of game and re-release. Because original copies of this game, they're not cheap anymore. They're going up in price, just like everything else in the retro market. So it's another great way for fans of good games to get them so um i don't know i'm a big fan of retro bits work it's no secret that i am a big fan of these types of re-releases as well but gyarus just uh another great addition but if you're interested in checking out retro bits continuing expanding lineup of games there are still pre-orders available for avenging spirit that's coming out on game boy and then later this year we're expecting the 16-bit of Battletoads and Double Dragon. The 8-bit version for NES just closed pre-orders a couple weeks ago, so 16-bit version later this year. So keep an eye out for that. There'll be a news article on my channel about it, so I'll try to keep you all in the know. But thank you so much, as always, for tuning in to this unboxing video. Awesome game. Check it out. Um, but just really appreciate each and every one of you for spending even a minute of time here on the channel. Big shout out to Retrobit for sending me my copy of Gyarus early so I could do this unboxing video for you. And then, uh, just <laughs> a lot of appreciation to go around, I guess. But anyway, I do have a couple of huge favors for you here at the end of the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like, dislike button, depending on how much you liked it. Hit that sub button, notification bell, so you can see when new videos come live on the channel. Lots of content coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. Now, for anyone interested in further helping support the channel you can also check out that join button here on youtube or the patreon link in the uh, bottom right hand corner of the screen here little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running bringing you the tutorials reviews um unboxings as well as giveaways and other fun things so big shout out to all of our current backers y'all are amazing thank you for being our champions and just overall amazing and believing what we do here 
But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, we'll see you back next video.